Let's say you have a surf skate deck where all the specs work great for you except for the wheelbase, and so you want to modify that wheelbase to fit you, but to do that, you have to drill new holes. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to do that. And I'm actually going to show you how to do that on two different decks here. I've got a waterborne deck here, and then I've got a big uh, white wave longboard here that's really thick. So I'll walk you through how to do both of these. Your first step is to gather all of your tools, starting with the wheelbase mod tool. I'm using the Chems wheelbase mod tool, and you can see that they have two here. One of them comes in quarter inch increments, and the other in three eighths inch increments. And I actually only just use this one, so you don't really need both. And I'll include a link in the video description below to where you can get these tools. Alternatively, if you don't have a wheelbase mod tool, you can actually just use a truck base plate. But if you do that, you're going to want to remove the at least the hanger, if not also the kingpin. You'll also need a drill with a 3 16 inch bit, and you're also going to need some masking tape. I'm using this painter's tape, and then I've got a tape measure and a pencil and some clear tape, and you'll see what I'm going to use those for. Let's start with the easy one, this waterborne deck. This deck has a 17.25 inch wheelbase, and that is not quite wide enough for my stance width. I want to widen this to 18 inches, so that's only three quarters of an inch, but yes, that does make a very big difference on surf skates. And on this deck, the front bolt holes are already far enough ahead where I can't adjust that. I don't want to take that any far forward because that waterborne adapter will stick out on the front. So I'm going to want to add that three quarters of an inch on the rear here, back here. Now, when you look at your wheelbase mod tool, you'll see that it has four protruding things here, and that is to go into your bolt holes. Although it should be noted that these are for new school bolt patterns. So when you look at trucks, you'll see that they have two widths here. The narrower width, this is the new school pattern, and the wider width is old school. So if you're working with a deck that has old school bolt patterns, then this mod tool won't actually fit into it, and I'm gonna show you how to work with it in that case. But these are designed to just go right into your bolt holes like that. And then when you look at this, you'll see that this has numbers because this is telling us how much to adjust. So we already said we wanna adjust this by three quarters of an inch. So you'll see here, it says right here, three quarters of an inch. So those are the bolt holes that I'm gonna be drilling is where it says three quarters of an inch. But before we start drilling, there's a very critical piece that we have to do, and this is something that I have learned the hard way, and that is that we wanna use our masking tape and put masking tape on the bottom here because when you drill new holes, if you don't have the masking tape on, then it's gonna push through the wood and you're gonna leave marks in the wood. It's not gonna have a clean hole. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering what these marks are, this is a prototype deck from the Waterborne factory, and so they were just messing around with that. That's what all that stuff is about. All right, so we're gonna just take our masking tape here and do a good layer over this area where we're going to be drilling. And I'm gonna just do multiple layers here for good measure and that should be fine. So you tape that up and now you're gonna have clean exit holes on the back end. All right, so we're going to take our wheelbase mod tool, stick it into the holes, and now we're going to drill our holes. So what this wheelbase mod tool does is it just makes sure that you drill straight. So we're gonna put this in our three quarters of an inch hole and get these holes done. All right, so let's remove our tape here and see how we did with our holes. And unfortunately, you see here, it didn't come quite clean off of that one. So that's unfortunate. Luckily, this is a deck that I don't care too much about, and that's gonna get covered up by your truck anyway, but even still, if you're working with a really nice deck that you like, you don't want that. So this is just a good lesson to show. This also brings up an important point. This is why you wanna be make sure you're drilling from the top side and not from the bottom side because obviously this would look a lot worse on the top side as opposed to the bottom where we can cover this up with our truck. But there we have it. We've taken a deck that didn't work for me because just three quarters of an inch on the wheelbase and now this is going to work fantastic for me. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on this big white wave longboard. This is 60 inches long and 15 inches wide. And you can see how on both the front and the rear we have quite a bit of deck space. 
back here, and that means that I can't access this for cross-stepping. So I know from experience, having ridden this quite a bit, that I actually wanna widen the wheelbase on both the front and the rear on this. On this one, we have a challenge in that these are old school bolt patterns, and the mod tool is new school, which means that these are not going to fit into those holes. So that means we can't use that mod tool like I just showed you. The only way that we can put this on here is upside down like so. So I'm gonna show you how I do this. What I do is basically just measure where I want it to go and then I just tape it down. I'll show you how I do this. Now in this case, from experience, I know where I want this waterborne adapter to sit. I know that I want this to be three and a half inches back. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a mark three and a half inches back on the from the tip of the deck because that's where I want my front bolt hole to go on the adapter. So I know I want my front bolt holes to be right here on this line and if this were so far forward where I couldn't use these then I'd have to do a bunch of measuring but when possible if you can use your existing bolt holes in this case I see that if I line those up on those holes right there then that one right there is right over where I want this hole to be. So I'm actually gonna just cheat here and use these holes. So to do that, I'm actually gonna just use bolts and I'm gonna put them down into that hole. And that's going to hold us steady. Now you see how I still have a lot of play in that. So I'm gonna use those as my standard, but I'm still going to tape this down to prevent any movement of that. However, before we do that, let's not forget our very important part, and that is to put masking tape on our backside here. And we've learned from experience too that we want a good solid layer here. And especially on these thicker decks, you'll find that the thicker your deck is, the more of a potential issue this becomes of pushing out that wood on the backside. And this is probably overkill, but just to be sure, to do our best here, I'm gonna do a little crisscross layer as well. Okay, I'm sure that's plenty. So now we take our wheelbase mod tool, and this is where I'm gonna take some clear tape and tape that down. So first I wanna just make sure that it's positioned where you want it to be. All right, that's about as good as this is gonna get. I can hold this down and I'm gonna just drill one hole at a time here. Now that I have a third hole drilled, I'm going to put another bolt in because that'll make it even more stable there without the tape. So now we're holding it on three points and that's as solid as it's gonna get. Let's take a look and see how this turned out. Looks good on our top side here. Now let's look at this side. And this looks really good, so I'm really glad that we put those extra layers of masking tape on, and I'm glad you got to see that, so let that be a warning to you. Make sure you're doing good layers of masking tape on that. Now we've got this final one on the rear. Let's first tape this up. This final one is going to be the trickiest because I'm going to want to put this so far back that I'm not going to be able to use these bolt holes with our mod tool like we did before. So we're gonna have to do some measurements back here. Now, if I didn't have any experience with this, I would just kind of eyeball this and put it where I want. But I know from experience that I want the back holes four and a half inches back. So let me first get that measurement. We wanna be four and a half inches back. So right here is where we want our back bolt hole. So our mod tool is gonna sit somewhere right in here, but we wanna make sure that we're getting it exactly centered. So like I said, I'm gonna have to do some measurements here. So let me start by measuring right here, the width of the deck at this point, 10 and an eighth. So that's gonna make our midpoint five and one sixteenth. Right there is our midpoint. And our front bolt holes are gonna sit somewhere at about right here. So let's also measure the width of the deck at this point as well, which is 11 and an eighth. And so that's gonna put our midpoint right here. So now we have a midpoint. 
And unfortunately, this isn't going to be a precise, precise science, but we're going to do the best that we can here. So I'm going to just use my midpoint here, and we want our mod tool to sit right here. So I'm going to just draw around that like so. So that's where our tool is going to sit. Now we're going to do the same thing before. We're just going to tape this down. And this time I'm going to use this masking tape instead of the other tape because I think this is going to stick to the deck better. Yeah, so that's going to stick to that deck better and hold that in place for us better. And now you can see how I've got a little bit of movement on this, but it's pretty stable. And I'll be able to make this work doing one hole at a time and then putting bolts through them. So here's our back holes right here. And I'm gonna just start with one hole. Now I'm gonna put a bolt through this one to hold that steady. And we'll use another bolt. Now we've got two points holding that steady. That's not going anywhere. Looks good up here. And that's it. That's how you modify your wheelbase.